Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching the fourth episode of season two of Avatar The Last Airbender. In the last episode with King Boomy, once again, I hope some people answer it for me in the comments, but I was, I, I think I kind of got it, but I was still just not 100% sure on his full explanation of why he's staying behind. I'm assuming, once again, it's because he's waiting for the right moment to strike, so he's going to attack when they're most vulnerable, probably, or like when they... When, when it seems most appropriate for him, but I definitely thought he was going to leave with Aang. So, last episode was definitely a shock for me. Still definitely enjoyed it, though, especially the duel at the end. But also, I'm very curious now what's going to happen between Azula and Zuko, because Azula is now after the Avatar as well as Zuko. So, they're definitely going to have a confrontation. I'm wondering if it's going to be, like, all three of them have, like, a triple duel between Azula and then Zuko and Uncle Iroh and then Katara, Aang, and Sokka. Maybe, maybe um, Azula has her little minions with her. But that would be incredible to have, like, a tri-battle where, like, three different teams are battling against each other. I don't know. I feel like that's not going to happen, but that would be pretty cool if that does. But also with Uncle Iroh and Zuko... Once again, I'm so excited to see how the relationship continues. I don't know why they're getting more and more... In I'm getting more and more impacted by them as the show goes on. Like, seriously, I am loving Uncle Iroh and Zuko. He's grown on me as well throughout the season. He does some things that I do not completely agree with, but he's still an amazing developed character so far. And also, once again, Katara, I touched on this a little bit, but her... Her battle with Azula's uh, minions was honestly, like, incredible. Katar has improved so much, and it's evident in even the first two episodes, but, like, in this episode, she took on two of them who were very mastered in their craft. She was able to hold toe-in-toe -to -toe with them, which I honestly just could not get enough of. Seriously, Katara is such a great character. I, I want to see her train Aang once again a little bit more, but I'm assuming we'll see that throughout the season. Also, Momo and the kid in the last episode, I don't know, that, that was it actually revealed that the kid went back with them because of his attachment to Momo that's where it was like okay that makes sense so I am happy that that actually had some impact with Momo and the kid because it started out very friendly like kid friendly and then when it actually developed into the Fire Nation governor losing his son it's like oh crap so that actually <laughs> impacted something so that was awesome to see but yeah once again cannot wait to see what happens in this next episode before we do get into the reaction if you guys do want to see the full length reaction or early access to my reactions you guys can check out my Patreon first thing in the description bar down below and let's just hop into it Avatar season 2 episode 4 the swamp. Oh, yeah, because they Spare left. coins for weary travelers. This is humiliating. We're royalty. These people <laughs> should be giving us whatever we want. They will, if you ask nicely. Spare change for a hungry old man. Oh, here you go. That's a <laughs> good job, Uncle Iroh. The Iron. coin is appreciated. How about some entertainment in exchange for a gold piece? We're not performers. Not professional, anyway. <laughs> it's a long, long way to Bossing <laughs> Say, my girls oh. in the city. Dance! Snake is so sweet, such a nothing like a fat man dancing for his dinner. Here you go. Piece of crap. Such a kind man. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yes. Good Zuko. At least you noticed it. God damn, Uncle Iroh. Hey, why are we going down? What? I, I think the swamp is calling to me. Is it telling you where we can get something to eat? Boomy said to learn earthbending, I would have to wait and listen. And now I'm actually hearing the earth. Do you want me to ignore it? Bye, swamp. Yep, yep. Oh, but it's calling to you. <laughs> oh, yes, eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> What happened to Appa? No. No. Why do things keep attaching to me? You couldn't find them? No. And the tornado. It just disappeared. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God you're okay. You're okay. For a second, I was actually very worried. Maybe we should 
should be a little nicer to them. Do you want me to say please and thank you as I swing my machete back and forth? <laughs> Maybe you should listen to Aang. Something about this place feels... alive. I'm sure there are lots of things that are alive here. And if... Crap, yeah. <laughs> some, some type of small monster. <laughs> The swamp does look pretty ominous, and it really does just have that murky kind of vibe. Sokka, the longer we're here, the more I think you shouldn't be doing that. No, I asked the swamp. It said this was fine. <laughs> it's gonna happen. He's gonna chop off a branch or something, and something's gonna happen. Please, we're all alone out here. Except oh. for them. <laughs> that was like a hundred different bats or something. Oh no, it's the same thing that Oppo was under. <laughs> yes. Yes, Katara. Eyes? Leaves a nice wide trail to follow. You know what's at the end of that trail? Dinner. Of course, hunters <laughs> just being like they think they can catch up, but they can't do anything to him. Just ate it? Oh my God. No, he, he just spit it back out. Hello? Can you help me? Mom? Mom! Oh, it's a vision, like a hallucination. No way. Sokka, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be biting you in the ass. You think you're so you tough, just huh? Cutting uh, everything. Hello? No way, and he sees the princess. Yue? Oh. This is just a trick of the light. You didn't protect me. You didn't protect me. No. Ah! Appa! Hello? Who are you? <laughs> now she's back up. Look at that, though. Is that a little hairy fella around that thing? <laughs> no, that's what they call a lemu. Saw one at a traveling show once. Real smart, they say. Look closer. Nice Appa's gonna get rid of all no, them. <laughs> Just like one movement. Ya. What'd you say that for? Well, we are. But you don't have to tell them that. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's little hand motion. Who are you? Ah! I was chasing some girl. What girl? Look, we were all just scared and hungry and our minds were playing tricks on us. That's why we all saw things out here. You saw something too? I thought I saw Yue. But that doesn't prove anything. And all our visions led us right here. The center. For the last time, there's nothing after us. Oh, no, there is. Come on, Saga. Here. Oh, that's where the little swamp creatures, or big swamp creatures, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just regrows. Oh, Appa. Appa's gonna come to the rescue. <laughs> How do you even kill them? <laughs> they just keep me growing. Oh, oh. oh, it's a person. What did 
you call me here if you just wanted to kill us? Wait! I protect the swamp from folks that want to hurt it. Like this fellow with his big knife. See? Completely reasonable. Not a monster. That's why you should not have been messing with the swamp. Right here under the banyan grove tree. I heard it calling me, just like you did. See, this whole swamp is actually just one tree spread out over miles. Branches spread and oh, sink that's and take cool. root. And then... So that's why it's the main tree. That's okay. You think you're any different from me or your friends or this tree? All living together, even if most folks don't act like it. We all have the same roots, visions of people we've lost, people we loved, folks we think are gone. But the swamp tells us they're not. We're still connected to them. Mm. Time oh. is an illusion. And okay, for a second I thought he was trying to say they were not dead. Time is an illusion. So, it's someone I will meet. Sorry to interrupt the lesson, but we still need to find Appa and Momo. I think I know how to find them. Everything is connected. That's so cool. So we just get to travel through the swamp, basically. Oh. Oh, poor You too? <laughs> that means we're kin. <laughs> so now they stop. So why were you guys so interested in eating Appa? Where'd you say you was from? The South Pole. Didn't know they was waterbenders anywhere, but he strange was going on here. Just a bunch of greasy people living in a swamp. But what about when the tree showed me where Appa and Momo were? That's Avatar stuff. That doesn't count. Still, there's absolutely nothing mysterious about the swamp. <laughs> Yeah, so something's going on with the swamp. Who's oh, Zuko's gonna kill him now. <laughs> In his mask, yeah. <laughs> Same when he got to get in. Okay, so that was the end of episode four, season two of Avatar Last Airbender. Um, it, well, once again, great episode. I'm kind of in the vote though of season, I mean of episode three where just, well once again it was not my favorite episode, not not a lot happened, but the swamp itself was actually really intriguing. I, especially when Aang looked through the swamp and saw Momo and Appa, I'm not sure if that's an Avatar thing, thing or if that's something that other people can do in this swamp, but that, that was incredible that he was able to just see where Momo and Appa were. In terms of Momo and Appa getting captured by the people who wanted to hunt them, I mean it, it was entertaining, it just was not my... It was not nearly one of my favorite, you know, things that they've shown in this show. I, I thought it was pretty generic, especially just them just chasing Appa and Momo and then Momo getting sucked in and then Appa. I don't know. That that whole sequence I really felt like was, eh. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't mean to be bad at the episode, just I guess I've seen so many amazing episodes. I love Katara and her waterbending when they were actually fighting the Swamp Monster. Her being able to just do the rapid fire blades and stuff. Some of her moves were incredible to see. So once again, love Katara whenever she basically used waterbending. And also... Um, I loved how Aang and Sokka and Katara saw the visions, especially Katara and Sokka. I don't know what Aang's vision meant because he has not met her yet, but she probably is the person who made him go into the swamp, as my guess, and created the tornado. But Sokka and Katara's vision was, especially Sokka's, was very hard to see, especially with you, I guess, sorry, that's her name, you, with her. I, I really just did not expect to see her again, and seeing her and Sokka was pretty heartbreaking, especially also Katara and her mom. So, uh, some amazing moments in that, in this episode. But also Zuko and Uncle Iroh, I, I love seeing them. So any scene I see them in, I'm going to be happy about. But overall, a great episode. Cannot wait to see episode five. If you guys do want to see the full-length reaction to this episode or really access to my videos, guys can check out my Patreon for the description bar down below. Oh yeah, I'm surprised we not see Azula in this episode, especially at the end of the last episode when it was announced she was going to be following the Avatar now. I thought we would have seen her doing something, but I guess that she'll be in the next episode. So, I will see you guys in episode five.